Work, damn you! That's not fixed it. I thought I'd solved the problem then. I wish you had. <laughs> Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here on a sweltering hot day in Lincolnshire. Another day of working on the K11 Nissan Micra. If you haven't seen the previous video, Dad and I drained the fuel system, put all fresh fuel in, cleaned all the fuel lines out, cleaned the injectors, and well, it's still not running right. The issue we've got is it will start run drive. That's fine, but it's not idling properly. It's not controlling its idle. Um, we was expecting or hoping it to be that stale fuel. Sadly, not. So we've got more diagnostics and work to do. Dad has actually been working on the car this morning. We'll have a chat with him, see what he's done. But the reality is, we're probably gonna to have to do some more diagnostics and replace a few more parts. We'll have a chat with Dad then and see if we can get the car running a little bit better in this video. Who's the daddy? <laughs> Dad's putting the seats back in the rear of the car after draining the fuel system. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, son. How are you? Well, if I'd... If I'd got something more important to be doing, I should be fairly cheesed off. Yes. But I've not got something really important, not pressing. So. <laughs> I'm so a bit of tinkering, mate. So yesterday we replaced the fuel and it didn't solve the problem. It made it run a bit better. It did make it run a bit oh, better. God, I. You're right. So you've been tinkering this morning yeah. with the K11 Micro. Just talk us through your thought process. What do you think is wrong for a start? It's not controlling its idle. And so why? What I've, been, I've been through the wire at the diagnostic trail, and it's two things. It's either the ECU, yep, or it's the idle control valve. Okay, where is the idle control valve? It's on is the back of the throttle body. All right, let's have a look at that then. So we're under here. You've got the throttle body off. Ah, oh, so the idle control valve is that that thing with the white writing on? That's right. This thing in here, yes, right? Mate. Okay, so we've got the throttle body here, math sensor here, idle control valve. Um, you've got your book of Nissan yeah. there. Checked all the wiring through. Check. And I don't keep my parts about. It's not your parts, it's my battery, ca battery carrier. Um, so what have you been doing with that? Firstly, I think I did, I cleaned all the earths up for the engine and the injection system. Yeah. Back to basics. I checked the wiring from the ECU to the uh, idle control valve, that's all right. I checked the resistance of the idle control valve. But the idle control valve, the little flap in it, wouldn't move. Ah! Then when I took it, you're not supposed to be able to do, but I took it to bits and there's a bit broken inside it. What bit? It's like a metal washer sort of damping thing. Oh, right. So what have you done with that then? Replaced it? No, I just left it out for now. Ah. But she doesn't know what she's doing. Okay. Unless, unless it's not getting another signal from somewhere. So I'm going to have to go back to the Bible. Bible. So... The throttle body here, have you cleaned it all out? It looks nice and clean? No, I've not messed, because I don't want to mess the math sensor up. Right, OK. Could you know how not... technical and awkward them math sensors are? Could it not be that the math sensor needs a clean, replacing? Oh, I'm not touching it. You're not touching it yet? No. Fair enough. No. So it's just start to math, then. math sensors don't make them surge like that. No, so that's what it's doing at the moment, isn't it? It's, it's surging. Can we... Uh, You'd can think we... it's got a ruddy air leak, but it hasn't. Can we listen to it if you start it up? Here we go. So that to me, Very now, sweet. at this stage, is Very running sweet. fine, sounds lovely. So, what is the concern? It's behaving itself at the minute. The thing is, we're not having a diagnostic tool. You can't really see what inputs and things you've got. I understand. But uh, what is the Nissan diagnostic tool? Consult. Consult. <laughs> She's behaving herself at the minute. It's a bit high now. Now it's going to start surging as it wants to bring it down. So it does sound like it is revving high there in comparison. Before we filmed this video, you were showing me, actually it was revving all over the shop, wasn't oh, it? Oh, it was surging. It was like surging, surging. Just surging. like it got an air leak. 
But there is no air leak as far as you're concerned. It is starting to surge, I can hear it, there we go. <laughs> Joking apart, <laughs> the ECU is slowly adapting. So could it, could it fix itself? Wouldn't be surprised. Well, I've had, if I take the battery off of my Peugeot for a week, it runs like a nail for about a month. All oh, right. Okay. So it's not surging like it was sort of five minutes ago. But the the theory is we're probably going to replace the throttle body, the MAF sensor, and that idle control valve. I've reached out to a friend of mine who is a banger racer, um, who has about thirty or forty K11 micros. The issue we've got is this is quite a late one, isn't it? It is, mate. Yeah. And it's uh, not a. But it's an early one, but it's got late sort of. How do I put it? It's got the late late mechanics. Yeah, on it. it is. It's throttle bodies and injectors and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, the other's a single point injection, one the ones with the distributor. Yeah, and this hasn't got a distributor, no. this is this is multi point injection uh, system. Coil packs, yeah. Coil packs. So hopefully he is gonna come back to me and say, I've got a throttle body here you can buy off me, mate. Um if not though, we're gonna have to get online, aren't we, and yeah. buy one. Um Do you think we'd be wasting our time to replace it? That's the next step forward. Seeing as I did actually find that there's a fault with that idle control valve, it was seized, full stop, it wouldn't work. Could we not just buy a new idle control valve? You can't you seem to get them, so. Oh, okay. What's the part number on there, then? Oh, right, I see. So it's all sold as part of the throttle body and comes as a kit, does it? There's one in Shangzhong province in China, and it says it's for Kia, but... I better get it bought, then. Yeah. It'll be here next year. Uh, Let's have a look under there. But anyway, that's the next step. I shall do a few more wiring checks. Yep. Check some of the inputs. But it does seem to be getting better. It does. Maybe it, it could fix itself. No, because I do know that throttle body, that... Um, the idle control, idle control valve was faulty. was faulty. Full stop, it wouldn't move. A little, it was seized up. <laughs> Give her a rev then. Let's have a look. Yeah, I said to go. I said to go back to the book. Ah, there there's go. the surging. I have to go back to the book. It sounds daft. Is it going to make a difference that the airbox isn't on? I've tried that. Oh, you've tried it? Been there. <laughs> Been there. Okay, so it's not because the because uh, the box isn't on. No, I, I did. That did cross my mind. Fair enough. I thought I'd solved the problem then. I wish you had. <laughs> Are you panicking yet? No, because there's that blooming museum micro. We'll just you... take the engine out and put in it. You can sod right off with that one, sunshine. Drop it. Oh, righto. Is that, is that a no? Is that that's, a maybe? A, that's a no, mate. Is that a maybe? You'll have all sorts of people on the internet angry if you start messing about with it. <laughs> Alan Simpson would be furious if you start messing about with that museum micro. <laughs> Well, it's only going to sit there, isn't it? Joking apart, though, it is sounding much better now than it was sort of ten minutes ago. There she goes. Here's the surging. Here comes the surge. La 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 la. Work, damn you! That's not fixed it. We need a throttle body. Yeah, that's the update, isn't it? It needs a throttle body putting on it. I shall go through the book. I'm going to do something in a minute. I'm going to try something. It's all good fun. What are you going to try? Da, 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 da. 
Oh, bubbles. Try something. See if that's actually causing it. What have you done? You've taken it off, have you? <laughs> oh, looked like it was disconnected. Aha! Uh -huh. That breaks it. So you've disconnected the idle control valve. You've taken it off. And it now won't start. Your fingers. Won't idle at all. Now, because you see, the idle control valve is not in the position it was stuck in, is it? I'm not panicking, John. I'm not panicking. Good. Let's just try that. See if I can do it. So you've put the valve back on now? No. Oh, what have you done now? You've killed it. Broke it. We need to change the throttle body. Ooh, oh, slow. Ticking over slow. Slow idle now. That's what it was doing, isn't it? Ticking over, shaking. So what have you done to it to get it back to slow idle like that? Just switch it off. We can fiddle about with this as much as we like, can't we? It needs one of them things. That's the way forward, son. What's that? Wait until we've got a throttle body. Yes, I think the plan is to try and yep. grab a throttle body with the idle control valve and a MAF sensor yeah. from my mate. And even if the MAF sensor's wrong on it, we can uh, put the swap that one on. Okay, we well, could play um, with that until the cows come home, couldn't we? Why would that cause an issue then, that... that valve just being stuck. It wasn't controlling its idle at all, was it? And how does it work? Tell you what it is. It's a little valve with a magnet, a bit like the armature in a motor, if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. And then it's got some windings and the ECU sends signals to it to move it backwards and forwards. And it needs to know the engine speed. So I must find out whether it's getting an engine speed signal correctly. But I ain't got a machine to tell. No. If it doesn't know what its engine speed is, it can't control it. But this is my rationale. I it did was... find something wrong. Uh-oh, what's that? that? That broken... Oh, yeah, in the, in the valve. Yep, yeah, that, that's... Could that have just died over time? full of water and rust it was. Oh, okay. Well, that'll definitely be no good then because when we put it away or when I left it in the garage, it was running fine. The car was running a treat. Oh, well then. So, um... Your mum was running fine ten years ago. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next plan of action? Me? I'm going to clean that battery carrier. Well, there you have it then. We think we've diagnosed the problem with the Micra not running right. It's still not running right. Fresh petrol has made it a little bit better, but well, still not controlling its idle. It's fluctuating, as you've heard, between slow and fast and woo woo woo. That idle control valve, we think then, is the problem. The fact that it was full of water, the fact that it was stuck, and the fact that Dad's had to break it open and sort of free it off, it's probably not done broken it any it. good. Uh, you've not broken it open. Just carefully dismantled it. Carefully dismantled it and um, put it back together. We're going to get a throttle body system with that idle control valve and a MAF sensor from hopefully a scrap car uh, from a mate of mine. If we can't get hold of one of them, I'm going to have to buy one on the internet. They're quite expensive. They are quite 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 expensive hundreds of pounds expensive um so we shall see how we get on 
Next video then, hopefully we'll be fitting a new throttle body and idle control valve and MAF sensor to the Micra and fingers crossed that will solve the running issue. Then we've got everything else to look at. Coolant, oil, brakes, rust, sump, interior, number plates, wheel refurbishment and the like. But until then, we've got to keep it running properly or get it running properly. Right. Will we make rust of all? <gasps> At the moment, no. If you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up please. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. There's loads more K11 micro content coming to the channel. It might be us stripping down the museum micro if we get really stuck. <laughs> Have a great day, whatever you're getting up to. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I genuinely hope you've enjoyed this video. I've selected a couple more from my channel for you that I think that you might like here. Give them a click and it will take you to the next video. Don't forget to hit subscribe to always stay up to date with what we're getting up to.